Hey boys and girls, today we're gonna listen to Pteranodon Soars. Ready, set, go. go! This story is one in a series from Smithsonian's Prehistoric Pals, brought to you by Sound Prince in Norwalk, Connecticut. You can follow along in your storybook. When you hear this sound, turn the page. Pteranodon Soars by Don Bentley, illustrated by Karen Carr. Narrated by Al Gates. A pteranodon shuffles toward the edge of a cliff. She hears the sound of waves crashing against the rocks below. She spreads her 20-foot-long wings and jumps off the cliff and rises into the clear blue sky. She may not be very agile on land, but she is extremely graceful in the air. Although Pteranodon is very large, she weighs only 30 pounds. Her bones are filled with air, so she is light enough to fly. She soars on an air current high into the sky. Then, Pteranodon swoops down to glide closer to the water. She is looking for something to eat. She relies on her huge, keen eyes to find prey. As Pteranodon glides over the surface of the water, she sees a school of fish. She dips her spear-like beak into the water and grabs several fish. She does not have teeth, so she swallows the fish whole. Just as Pteranodon is about to pluck another fish from the water, she sees a huge mosasaur. Pteranodon is startled. Mosasaurs are her enemy. She flaps her wings quickly and moves higher into the sky. With a splash, the mosasaur opens its huge jaws, but it cannot reach Pteranodon. From the safety of the sky, Pteranodon keeps an eye on the Mosasaur. Pteranodon is a strong flyer. She can stay in the air for a long time and fly long distances. Flapping her giant wings, she flies away quickly. Soon, the Mosasaur is out of sight. Pteranodon hovers over several Quetzalcoatlus far below. Pteranodon sees another school of fish. She dives down, dipping her long beak back into the water. This time, Pteranodon does not swallow the fish. Instead, she stores them in her roomy mouth to bring back to her nest. With her beak full of fish, she flies back up into the sky, even higher than before. She has flown far out over the water, and now she must return to land. When she reaches the cliffside, she sees a nest made of pine needles below. Pointing her beak and long neck toward the ground, she lands near the nest. The babies have just hatched from their eggs, and they are hungry. Pteranodon feeds the hatchlings the fish that she has brought back. Within minutes, all the fish are gone, and Pteranodon is in the air to fish again. The babies are small and helpless. They must rely on their mother to take care of them. When they get bigger, Pteranodon will teach them how to fly. When the babies are big enough, they will spread their long wings and soar through the skies, hunting for themselves, just as their mother does now. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.